Have you ever pondered on the enigma that time presents? What if you could go back in time and change an event? Would that create a paradox? Just imagine, the power to change history, to rewrite the past, to shape the future. Yet, such power comes with its own set of mysteries and contradictions. This is the world of time paradoxes. In the realm of science and philosophy, paradoxes have always intrigued and challenged our understanding of reality. And when we delve into time paradoxes, we enter a labyrinth of mind-boggling phenomena that defy our conventional wisdom. In this video, we're going to explore eight different time paradoxes, each more fascinating than the last. From the famous grandfather paradox to the lesser known Polchinski's paradox, we'll unravel the mysteries that these paradoxes present. So fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to embark on a journey through the intricate maze of time. Prepare to dive deep into the mysteries of time and explore these fascinating paradoxes. Imagine going back in time to meet your grandfather before he had any children. What if you accidentally caused his demise? Welcome to the Grandfather Paradox, a fascinating and mind-bending concept in the realm of time travel. This paradox presents a scenario where a time traveler inadvertently triggers an event that prevents their very own existence. Picture this, you travel back in time and accidentally knock over a lamp, startling your young grandfather who, in the ensuing chaos, tragically meets his untimely end. But wait, if your grandfather passed away before your parent was born, how could you have been born to travel back in time in the first place? This intriguing paradox throws a wrench into our understanding of cause and effect. It challenges the linear perception of time and makes us question the consequences of our actions. Can we alter the past without affecting the future? Or is time a closed loop, immune to our meddling? This paradox raises questions about the effects of our actions and the nature of time itself. Consider finding a book filled with knowledge of the future. You decide to publish it, but where did the book truly originate? Dive with me into the perplexing waters of the bootstrap paradox. This is a temporal paradox where an object or a piece of information sent back in time becomes ensnared within an infinite cause-effect loop. In our case, this book, brimming with future insights, is a perfect example. You find it, you publish it, and it becomes a bestseller. Years later, a time traveler takes this book, travels back in time, and leaves it for you to find. So, who wrote the book? You published it, but the information came from the future. This is the essence of the bootstrap paradox. An object or information that exists but doesn't have a discernible point of creation. It's a continuous loop, with no beginning and no end. The bootstrap paradox, a mind-bending loop of time and cause. What if every event in your life was predetermined, including your journey back in time that causes those events? Welcome to the world of the predestination paradox a concept that turns the linear perception of time on its head. Imagine this. You invent a time machine and journey to the past. Once there, you inadvertently set off a chain of events that leads to your birth. Fast forward to the future, and you invent the time machine that takes you back. It's a loop, an eternal cycle where cause and effect lose their linear order. In the predestination paradox, you're not changing history. You're fulfilling it. Your actions in the past are already woven into the fabric of time, forming a self-consistent loop. It's like a snake eating its own tail, a circle with no beginning or end. So where does this leave us? Well, it certainly gives the age-old chicken and egg debate a fresh twist. In the predestination paradox, the chicken and the egg question finds a new dimension. Imagine creating a painting in the present, then taking it back in time and giving it to your younger self who becomes famous for it. This, my friends, is the essence of an ontological paradox. The artwork in this case has no original point of creation. You didn't really create it because you simply replicated what you remembered from your past. But then, who created the original piece? This paradoxical situation, where an object or piece of information appears to exist without any discernible origin, is indeed what we refer to as the ontological paradox. It's a concept that challenges our understanding of cause and effect, and time's linear progression. Consider this. If you received the blueprint for a revolutionary invention from your future self, and you then build and patent that invention, where did the idea originate? It's a mind-boggling loop with no clear beginning. The ontological paradox, a riddle of existence without a clear beginning. In a universe teeming with billions of galaxies, where is everybody? This question brings us to the Fermi paradox. The paradox is named after physicist Enrico Fermi, who famously asked, where is everybody, during a casual lunchtime conversation? The Fermi Paradox is the contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the lack of evidence or contact with such civilizations. 
If the universe is brimming with galaxies, and those galaxies are brimming with stars, and some of those stars are bound to have planets that could potentially support life, then where are all the aliens? Despite numerous searches and investigations, we've yet to find any signs of extraterrestrial life. This lack of evidence leads to an intriguing question. Are we alone in the universe, or have we simply not found our cosmic neighbors yet? The Fermi paradox leaves us wondering about our place in the universe. Imagine if your twin traveled to space and returned younger than you. How could that be possible? Welcome to the world of the twin paradox, an intriguing thought experiment in the realm of special relativity. The scenario involves identical twins. Let's name them Alice and Bob. Alice embarks on a journey into space, leaving Bob on Earth. Now, according to Einstein's theory of special relativity, time moves slower for an object in motion compared to one at rest. So as Alice ventures through space at near light speed, time slows down for her relative to Bob back on Earth. When Alice eventually returns, she finds that Bob has aged more, making her the younger twin. This is not a trick or illusion, but a real consequence of the way our universe operates under the laws of physics. So there you have it, the twin paradox, a thought-provoking exploration of time and relativity. What happens when a billiard ball enters a time machine, travels back, and knocks its past self away from entering the machine? This question sets the stage for an intriguing thought experiment known as Polchinski's paradox. Imagine a billiard ball rolling along a track, heading straight for a time machine. Just as it's about to enter, another billiard ball, its future self, pops out of the machine and strikes it, diverting its course. But here's the paradox. If the first ball never enters the time machine, how does it come back to knock itself off course? Delving into the depths of Polchinski's paradox, we encounter an infinite loop of interactions with the past self of the object. Every action appears to trigger a reaction that, in turn, causes the initial action. It's a mind-boggling dance of cause and effect, a temporal ballet that leaves us questioning the very nature of time itself. Polchinski's paradox, a fascinating loop of cause and effect. So, we've delved into the depths of time and paradoxes, uncovering mysteries that boggle the mind. Just like Alice in Wonderland, we've journeyed down the rabbit hole into a world where the normal rules don't apply. We've grappled with the grandfather paradox, where altering the past could erase our very existence. We've wrestled with the bootstrap paradox, pondering how something could exist without a clear point of creation. We've dared to confront the predestination paradox, where our future actions are determined by our past, and yet our past is influenced by our future. We've delved into the ontological paradox, where information or objects can exist without having been created. We've also explored the Fermi paradox, asking why, if the universe is so vast and old, we have not yet met extraterrestrials. The twin paradox took us on a journey through space and time, showing us that time can slow down for a moving observer. Lastly, we ventured into the realm of Polchinski's paradox, where a billiard ball can create an infinite loop with itself. But, as we stand on the edge of this rabbit hole, peering back into the world of time and paradoxes, we realize that each paradox, instead of providing answers, only deepens the mystery. They serve as a reminder that the universe and time itself are not as straightforward as we would like to believe. These paradoxes challenge our understanding of reality, forcing us to question our assumptions and think outside the box. They compel us to keep exploring, to keep seeking answers, to keep pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. As we wrap up this journey, may the mysteries we've uncovered today ignite your curiosity and inspire you to continue exploring the unknown. Share your thoughts, your theories, your questions. Engage in the conversation because it's through these discussions that new ideas and understandings are born. As we continue to ponder on these paradoxes, we are left with more questions than answers, a testament to the unfathomable mystery that is time. Until next time, keep wondering and exploring.